Ladies, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I am going to be doing this Halloween look. So I've basically got inspired by a Kat Von D makeup artist and she did an amazing face chart which was like a millipede or centipede on the face. So I've slightly, slightly changed it but it's very much inspired by the Kat Von D artist. Now I did do a dedicated video uh, of the day I went to the Kat Von D stand and had a makeover. So that will be on Wednesday, so definitely keep an eye out for that. So Nadine was the one who created the face chart and I was the one who was like, oh my God, I need to recreate it. So I've not seen anyone on YouTube do this yet. And I thought, why not do a little millipede centipede crawling on my face or crawling out of my eyeball, which is so good. So to start off this makeup look, I'm actually gonna be taking my Kat Von D this is the Shade and Light Eye Palette. So this is in the shade Sage. This is the green one, but I'm actually gonna be taking this shade here and this shade here and mixing these both just for the perfect transition color. Because I will be using black today, we need a good transition color and these are what's gonna help me blend out the black, which is just honestly the perfect combination when you want a black eyeshadow and you wanna blend it out, definitely use a gorgeous bone color. So I'm just going to blend this through the crease very, very lightly. And you might think that actually it's too light, but it just makes sure that everything is blended. And I'm just going to be taking this on a NYX 17 brush. Okay, so now that is done, I am now going to go in with a gel eyeliner. Now this is the perfect base for a black eyeshadow. So I'm gonna apply gel liner just on my lid, blend it out, and then we're gonna really pack on the black eyeshadow. But remember, when working with black eyeshadow, it is a really tricky color to work with. So you always kind of need to go back to these bone and transition colors to really help like blend and diffuse the black. Right, so I'm going to be taking this Bobbi Brown Gel Liner. This is in the shade Black Ink. Now I've, I am a massive fan of this. I really do love this. And this is going to be my base. And I'm going to be taking this on um, flat, very, very small flat shader brush. So I'm just going to dip this product in like this. And then just very gently kind of work this onto the lid and really really dab that thing on using a gel eyeshadow as well is so amazing for this kind of makeup because you know that a gel liner is going to last all day long so even if you're at parties it's not going to budge so using a gel product is a really good idea especially when using a black because you don't want to be crying black tears like black tears isn't a good look so let's just all keep it on the lid and let's not go down south so now i'm going to be taking the gwen stefani palette from urban decay now i love this palette just basically for the black it's got a holy grail black in this and this is going to be the shade that I'm going to be using and it's in the shade black out which is me and my whole entire life so I'm just going to be taking this black eyeshadow on a masked or masked I don't even know the name of this brush I'm just going to be taking it on a really small fluffy brush and I'm just going to very gently pack this on now with eyeshadows, I really recommend you packing the eyeshadow on and not blending it because once you blend it, it starts smudging everywhere. It's like a big black cloud. Again, you just wanna really gently dab this onto the whole entire lid. And then we're gonna blend it out with a really light bone transition color. Now 
Now this bit is going to look really messy at first, but it will all come together at the very end. You will be doing this whole look and you'll be like, actually, this doesn't look good. I'm going to take it off, but until you have put your lashes on, it really does come together at the very end, but you've just got to bear, bear with me, because trust me, it really does work. And then just on the very edge, I'm just taking the tip of my brush and I'm very gently, kind of just with a really light hand, I'm not pressing down, I'm just gently just flicking it across because again with this one, I've done a really extreme winged flick because hello, it's Halloween, we're gonna go extra AF. So yeah, we really want that exaggerated. So now I'm looking a little bit crazy. I'm actually going to be taking my um, like fluffy blender. So I'm actually going to be taking this shader brush right here. This is the Real Techniques base shadow brush. And I'm actually going to be taking the Kat Von D palette again. And I'm actually going to be mixing a bit of this and a bit of this together. And then blending out the very edges. And this is how you really achieve the blended smoky eye because when you just go in with a crease colour and then blend out the black or whatever colour it is, it just becomes very messy. But if you pack the colour on and then blend out with a lighter colour, it works so much better. So we're going to go in and we're going to start blending. Once you've added lashes and obviously my um, little detail on my face, it really does come together. But my best tip for working with black eyeshadow is just to take a clean cotton bud. Wow. Just going to take a concealer. Concealer. And then um, this is the one that I'm going to be using since so the Makeup Evolution one in the shade c 6.5 this is still ridiculously light but this is the conceal and define so with the concealer i'm actually going to be taking this orange sponge and these are really good for sharpening up your eyeshadow and things like that so i just very gently take the tip of this triangle sponge and then i just kind of dab the excess onto the sponge and then what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to neaten up the edge of this eyeshadow and just doing that makes the eyeshadow look so much better already so just doing that just cleans everything up and makes it look super schmucky. And then I'm just gonna really blend this out. So just the very edge, obviously, this is just fab for blending out little details and just gonna drag this wing kind of as much as I can so it doesn't stop in a harsh line. Okay, so that's even more, just made it look so much sharper. And then I'm just gonna again neaten it up and then I'm also gonna do the top area as well. Okay, so now I really snatched this area up. Like, girl, this is snatched. I love this. Mm. Pretty much done now for the eyes. This is like kind of the hard bit, and then we've got the second other bit to do. So now we're gonna just apply mascara onto my lashes, and then we're gonna apply falsies, and then we're gonna move on to the base and kind of like the contouring and the extra special little detailing on the face. So I'm actually going to be taking this Soap and Glory Crazy Sexy Coal. You know I love this. And I'm actually just going to run this on my waterline. Oh my god, I look so creepy. Wow, girl. Like, this is Halloween, but hello. Them eyes look hella creepy when you put liner on. Woo! Okay, yes, queen. 
And for lash glue, um, my favourite lash glue that I've been using at the moment is the Pinky Goat Gloomy Lash Adhesive. This is basically one of my favourite lash glues I've ever used. The black glass glass glue wow this is a black lash glue this is amazing for applying your lashes and it obviously doesn't leave a white line you've pretty much it kind of just blends in so this is what i'm using and the lashes that i'm actually using today are from pinky goat and they're in the style hour because your girl loves that style it's just you know it it gets me in the heart girl So now that I've evened out my skin, I have definitely removed all the black from under my eyes and I've just added some concealer and cleaned up my areas. I've just added the most slight little bit of bronzer. Again, I don't want to be adding too much bronzer because I want to be kind of pale but a lot more like kind of sculptured. So for my contour, I'm actually going to be taking the Soap and Glory, the Mighty Contourer. Now this is a little gem of a product. Why does no one talk about this? This is possibly the best cream contour I've ever used. This is the most perfect ashy undertone and I'm gonna be applying this, my cheekbones, my nose, my temples. I already kind of have a very, very manly jaw. Like, my jawline is ridiculous, which I don't like it because I'm a gal and a gal shouldn't be like this, but yeah, I have a man jawline, so I'm probably just going to be putting this in the contour of the hollows of my cheeks, my nose, and my temples. Look in the old cheekbones. I'm really going. And what I'm doing is I'm just stippling it in. So instead of moving it around in circular motions, which is going to disturb our base, I'm just very gently stippling it in. I not whack my tragus at the same time. No matter how many times I do contour, especially near like obviously my hairline, Every time I always seem to kind of like knock my tragus. I can't even tell you how annoying that is. I'm always like boop, boop, always hitting this side of my face. My poor little tragus over here is crying because I'm trying to contour and he's in the way, like he needs to move. So I'm just gonna take some loose powder and I'm just gonna snatch that hollow of the cheeks. Baby, I'm so glad you can't see my top right now because look, underneath this line, it looks like I've had a huge fight with, like, you know, trying to bake a cake. But no, I'm baking my face. Reality. I love Halloween makeup because you can kind of go really extreme and you can get away with it because it's Halloween, but like, if I did this on an everyday basis, people would look at me and be like, girl, you are a little crazy. And then I'm just going to add some on the bridge of my little nose. So for highlighter today, I'm actually going to be using the, honestly, my favourite palette yet for highlighter. This is the Beauty Bay and Jordan Lipscomb palette. I blamin' love this. Like, this is so fab and the highlighters in this is just a bomb. My dog is digging the rug up because she's an old woman and hasn't got a clue what she's doing. So for highlighter, I'm actually going to be taking these two shades just mixing them in. I'm gonna take this on my nose and just dab it in a little bit. And because it's got really, really fine glitter in, I just love the effect. Again, I've said this in my previous video, I don't like glitter, but this very slight 
glitter dust is my favourite and I'm even going to buy another highlighter that is a very similar kind of effect with the fine glitter because that is how obsessed I am because of these highlighters. These are so stunning. So for the little centipede on my face, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, which is the dagger one. This is perfect because it is a pen-like liner and it's going to really add the effect of the little legs. So I'm going to take this and start drawing on my face. I'm so excited. So I'm actually going to start the centipede from the inner corner of my eye, just so it looks like it's basically crawling out of my eye. So then I'm going to go all the way around just under my contour and through my mouth. So I've just made this bit a little bit darker just to make it look like it's crawling out. So I've gone as if it's crawling out of my eye all the way around and then I'm just basically going to draw little circles to make it look like it's got little bodies. So now that I've done my centipede all over my face, it looks so amazing. I'm actually really proud of myself, not gonna lie. So the lipstick that I'll be using today is in the shade Vampiria. Now this is very relatable because it's Halloween, vampy, I love that. And I think this would look amazing with the pop of burgundy. And I'm gonna add a little bit of gloss and then in the middle of my lips, I'm just going to make it a little bit darker to make it look like, you know, the centipede's crawling through my mouth, if you know what I'm saying. Oh my god, that is so fab! And then I'm just going to add a slight bit of gloss on top and I'm just using MAC lip glass, this is just the clear one and we are pretty much done. fun recreating this for you and I absolutely loved the idea of it and I've actually never seen it on YouTube so this is a first and I'm I'm so happy I love it it looks so cool and so pleasing considering it's like crawling out my eye I don't know what it is I just like that but if you did enjoy this video please give it a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell before you go and also head over to my Instagram you will basically see a lot more of me over there so my Instagram will be linked down below and on the screen right now 
But I'm going to love you and leave you now. But I will see you on Wednesday for a brand new main channel video. Mwah.